get started. So this is the second league of the day. I've started my pioneer testing. It's only, it's like, it's hard to really call it testing because it's more of getting a feel for the format because um, I have not played really any pioneer since the, uh, since the invitational, but I've been slowly eking my way back in. I played some Phoenix last week, just played some mono red, some chonky red. Um, and I am about to play some five color Niv. This deck is, first of all, really sweet. It has Bring the Light and Niv Mizzet Reborn, which is super sweet. Thanks for the bits, Ty. And um, it is, I mean, it's just playing a bunch of different cards of various colors. So it's like trying to get the maximum value out of Niv Mizzet, very similar to what the modern deck was trying to do. But this deck, I think, is a little more reasonable given that it's in Pioneer. Um... Yeah, it's just kind of got a lot going on. There's just like a lot of cards. It's really sweet. Just a lot of really sweet dual color cards. And like some of them like Unward Ego or Bullets that you can tutor for with Bring to Light. And just like good cards that you can get in off Niv and like give you more value. I don't know. I'm excited to give this a try. And I've heard it's not just like as Timmy and casual as it looks. Like this is something, this particular list is the list Mick Windsauce played in the last Pioneer. Um preliminary and so I have a lot of faith in the Gwynsauce to like put out a pretty good deck list. The only change I did make is this Nahiri the Harbinger I put in the deck over Hostage Taker because Hostage Taker is broken on Magic Online right now. So I cut the Hostage Taker for Nahiri the Harbinger. This is a card I saw Autumn Burchett playing in this archetype and it looked really good. So I'm excited to give that a try and I'm glad I'm glad I get to try that card out. You know, Hostage Taker might still be better, but it's worth it's gonna be worth talking about and I think they serve similar roles of being a value card that still answers stuff. So, without further nonsense, let's dive in. There's a lot to look at here. There's a lot to look at. We got one Botanical Sanctum, one Blood Crypt, one Breeding Pool, four Fabled Passage. The Fabled Passage makes sense because I believe you have one of each basic, if I remember correctly. Let's, let's just try to get that organized a little bit. I think you have exactly one of each basic to grab. So, like... It does kind of fix your mana. The, the Fabled Passages are kind of like Pentalands and will help you cast Niv Mizzets if you haven't drawn the right single color lands. Um, you have a Frontier Bivouac, I think is how you say that, and a Sandstep Citadel. You know you're stretching your mana base when you start looking at Trilands, the Teamer and the, the Abzan Trilands. You have... Two Godless Shrines, the first Shockland we're playing two of, and the first land we're playing more than one of them in Fabled Passage. A Hinterland Harbor, an Overgrown Tomb, a Sacred Foundry, a Scattered Groves, which is the Cycle Land. You can't fetch it. I don't know why we're playing this. It's over like a temple. Temple seems way better. Steam Vents, a Stomping Ground, a Temple Garden, two, a Second Temple Garden, a Water Grave, a Woodland Cemetery. So for check lands that enter untapped, we have a Woodland Cemetery... A Hinterland Harbor, I guess Botanical Sanctum kind of counts. And then we just have like, I don't know if it's one of each chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine shock lands. Nine different shock lands. We're missing one. I don't know which one it is. I'm not going to go through the effort to figure it out. This mana base looks like utter nonsense. I don't know what's correct though. So I'm going to play the league and then I'm going to complain about whatever things I couldn't cast. But for the moment, I'm going to trust that McWin Sauce knows how to build a mana base and that this is close to correct. This looks like utter nonsense to me, though. We have four Silver Keratid. This is the real savior of our mana base, and I hope this card's going to bail us out a lot when we uh, are trying to cast our spells. We got a Thought Erasure, just one. You know, we did the calculations. Spell we can grab off the visit. Dreadbore. Actually, I like Dreadbore a lot in this format. There's a lot of Planeswalkers, a lot of big Chungus creatures with Chonky Red going around. I think this card's really good, and I'm glad to see it in this deck. I wouldn't mind seeing more. Abrupt Decay, good, one of the best removal spells in this format. Glad to see two of those. Teferi, four of those. Don't mind those. Makes our niv Mizzets uncounterable, which matters a lot since Blue-White's a big player in this format. Oath of Kaya, nice little burn spell. Gains you some life and some of the aggressive matchups. You can pick it up with Teferi too, which is kind of sexy. And, of course, something you can get off niv Mizzet. Unmoored Ego, just like good against the combo decks and stuff. Um, Colagon's Command, just a good value card for grinding. A questing beast, I don't know why we have one questing beast, but I guess it's to tutor for with Bring the Light. Kind of here for that. I like questing beast a lot. I think that card's really good and underplayed in this format. We got Siege Rhinos, three of them. We can't really have uh, the Squadron Rhinos if we only have three. I don't know how this is calculated. Uh, Nahiri the Harbinger, like I said, it's going to be over our Hostage Taker. Utter End, just a generic answer to any non-land permanent. And a Singleton Supreme Verdict that we can tutor up with our Bring the Lights. <sighs> So, before I go deeper with this, 
This deck exacerbates a problem I had with the modern deck, and that is you're trying too hard to make your Niv-Mizzet's too good. So like, Niv-Mizzet doesn't need to be a draw five to be a playable card. It needs to be like a draw two or three because it's like a six, six on its face already that's hard to answer and it drew three cards. And more importantly, it could draw another one in the form of Bring the Light, right? It could draw more Niv-Mizzets. So like you already have a good value chain coming with Niv-Mizzet. Why are we like making all of our cards bad just to like get more value off Niv-Mizzet? I don't know. That's a criticism I had with the modern version. I think we went too deep on trying to like get insane value off Niv-Mizzet, but I am actually going to try it before I criticize too hard. We got one Tulsimir, going to be good in the aggressive matchups. like that one a lot to be able to tutor up. You got three Niv-Mizzets, four Bring the Lights. You want to be able to bring the light from Niv-Mizzet. And, like, of course, naturally drawing Niv-Mizzet's only okay, whereas Bring the Light is the better card because it could, like, serve as anything, including a Niv-Mizzet. The one of Rakdos Return is hot. Yeah, I agree. Um, we got a little Cantrip action with one Discovery Dispersal. Doesn't seem calculated. Little early removal spells with Cut to Ribbons. The Ribbons, of course, let you finish off your opponent in the late game. So I like this card a lot. It was a big player in Standard. A little bit of cheap cheap stuff. It's going to fit in our two mana slots. So this deck isn't as chungus as it might look on its surface. But I do think some of our stuff is more inefficient than it needs to be. If we play against the Land of War Elf strategy, we're kind of, we're kind of already behind. We're playing the matchup behind. All right, without further ado, let's dive into the sideboard. I'm going to separate out the stuff that you can get with Niv-Mizzet from the stuff you can't. So these are our Niv-Mizzet targets. And then we have Infernal Reckoning, which exiles a colorless creature. You gain life equal to its power. Seems good against Eldrazi decks and maybe some Hardened Skills decks. Um, Thought Distortion. Uh, this card, <clears throat> pretty clearly for control decks. I mean, you just read it. It says FU Control. Can't be countered. Exile all the non-creature non-land cards in that player's hand. So clearly for that matchup, I watched Autumn. That was the only matchup I watched Autumn play with this deck. And if they went to time, like literally every time, like it literally went to Moto time. So this this card's a good a good swing. Rakdos Return also pretty clearly good in that matchup as well. Um, we got three Rest in Peace. Uh, good for the Dredge matchup. Probably a horrible matchup for this deck. And so we don't really use much of the Graveyard. We're using our Library and Searching, but we're not really using the, the Graveyard. So Rest in Peace is a nice pickup for our deck. Mystical Disputes, good in the Control matchup. Also good against some decks like Phoenix and maybe even the Lotus Field combo deck. I don't really know how that how that matchup plays out. But just like good against Blue Spells in general in this format. And their Blue Spells are pretty popular, so don't hate to see that at all. And then our Niv-Mizzet targets. We got a Dragon Lord Dromoka pretty good in matchups where they have a lot of counter spells and where you know lifelink matters a lot just having a big lifelinker Rakdos return good against control any any deck that's trying to keep a lot of cards in their hand i'll probably bring this in against like hand-based combo as well so like the lotus field combo deck i might bring this in um solar blaze another wrath at four mana that you can grab with the visit you know complements verdict and doesn't kill all of your stuff like it doesn't kill your characters which is really attractive Another Thought Erasure, one of our better cards to get off Niv-Mizzet in the control matchup. Also good in other fair matchups. It looks like we were designed to just beat the crap out of fair decks. And, like, maybe that's all people are doing in Pioneer, but I, I'm kind of skeptical that that's all that's happening in Pioneer. I guess I guess Thought Erasure is okay against combo, too. Cabal, I like this one a lot. Very good against the, uh, you know, the especially the combo decks that are trying to cast a lot of spells. Um, pretty good against obviously Jeskai Ascendancy. Could be good against like Phoenix even. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we where we want this card exactly. But um, any burn based matchup, I think we're really gonna want this as well. Kaya good against graveyards. Another kind of card to match with our graveyard hate that we can get off Death Mizzet. Has a little bit of other utility if there's like some non land permanents at CMC one or less that we can come down and flame tongue Kavu with our Kaya. So pretty attractive. And last but not least for the mono black matchup. The Mono Black Aggro is still very much a deck in this format. Probably can never beat a Blood Baron of Viscopa in a million years. So it's a nice tutor to search up with Braid Delight in that matchup. All right, I've talked a lot. Let's dive in. This matchup seems awful for Kethis. I mean, yeah, like, it probably does dookie on the Graveyard decks and the Fair decks, which, is, to be fair, is a lot of the format. All right, let's play. Yeah, returning details. Play League matches. Whew. I'm excited to try this deck out. This deck looks sweet. And like I said, Gabriel Nassif was a big advocate for this deck. So I think there's a good chance that it's just like pretty good. I love you too, do baby, do be ba do be baby. I love you even more. <laughs> How is there only 346 people playing Pioneer right now? It felt like our matchups popped really quick last, like, just a second ago. 
Nasif is also the big advocate of the Bant Solherger pile. Okay, Tenacious MTG, that's a fair point. But I will also see that Nasif is better than me at Magic. And, you know, if he says Soul Herder Pile was okay, he did at least openly say that the Soul Herder Pile was, like, not actually that good. This hand looks really good. Like, anything that has functional mana and a keratin, I'm just going to be hard-pressed to mulligan. I don't know what I'm supposed to lead on. I have two white cards in the end, though, so I think I'm going to lead on Temple Garden. Swamp. Are we getting thought seized? Yep. Okay. My hand's pretty good. Like, if this is the aggro deck, we got something that checks two power idiots pretty well, and we got an Othakaya, so, like, my hand's just good. It already looks like we got a nice Blood Baron matchup. Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Took the Keratin. Unsurprising to see that. Um, let's get let's get one of our tap lands in here. Probably gonna grab red with this. I think that's the only color I'm missing. And if they play like Scrap Heap Scrounger, I'm just gonna Teferi it. Okay. They have two one drops, they have one one drop. Alright, I think I'm gonna grab red. Because they just don't have any red. Nice. So bring light was a good pickup. Blue, white, here's Tef. Tef, Poppy, minus that. So now we have our Niv on curve. So we're going to like like exile a permanent next turn. Thoughtseize me. Oh no! They drew another Thoughtseize. That's so lucky. They have to take Bring the Light. I thought we were going to have a Niv on curve, but we do not. It's okay. If they play the one drop, we're just going to nuke it. Okay. They do not have more one drops. Okay. Um, sure, I'll shock. Black, white, here's an oath. Kill that. Plus, go. And then now we just need to top back a Niv. We shouldn't go check. Swift in. You got it. It's dead. Um, let's, I don't know what the most common color combinations are, so I'm just going to cycle this. Abrupt Decay, we have that up. All right, we're just going to pass. Everyone here has a plan until the thought sees. I mean, that's fair enough. I mean, I'm already extremely head on life, and they've dealt a bunch of damage to themselves. So, I'm not actually super worried about this. I think I'm in okay shape. Cast that. Sure. I don't know. I kind of want to decay that. If we draw a nib, I don't mind decaying, having decayed that. Black, green, decay. They got a 2 for 1 out of me, but, like, the nib is such, like, an egregious egregiously large like card advantage card that I'm just like cool playing this game I will die to this mutant vault that's fine if they can kill me with mutant vault before I draw Niv then more power to him oh they have two mutant vaults oh no alright they did not I think this needs to be black blue green alright here comes the Nivy poppy Done. Yeah. Look at that. Niv Mizzet. Cast it. Yes, I would like to cast it. Thank you. Fill my hand. Fill it. That's a Colligon's Command. Oh, never mind. This is all a whole bunch of stuff. I had the option of Colligon's Command or Cut to Ribbons, and Colligon's Command is clearly the better card. Whew. All right. Your turn. <laughs> Suddenly, it's six. It's a six for one or whatever. I don't know. Who knows? Beat any of this. You got a swift end? Oh, never mind. You're going to deal four to yourself to draw a card. Wow. <laughs> I mean... Okay. <laughs> that uh feels good. What's my record? This is the first game. They do not want to continue playing. That was the first game I've played at this deck. And we have just marked them. That was pretty nice. I think Kaya is okay. Oh, give me this Blood Baron. Ugh. Ugh. This could be so good. 
Is this good? Call this creature? I don't think so. Is this good? They have a bunch of little idiots. Sure, why not? Ugh, it doesn't kill, like, any of their idiots, though. Maybe this is good. Maybe some, like, some big chunk of stuff. Does this die? What does this die to? That's, like, all the removal spells. I don't know what I want. I know I at least want a Blood Baron. Siege Rhino looks great. All of our cards seem great. Just deck great, I'm great, everything's great. I kind of want Kaya, I think. I'm going to put Kaya in my deck. I think I want the Solar Blaze, too. I'm going to put the Solar Blaze in my deck. I wish I knew more about what the Mono Black Aggro deck actually looked like. But I think they have a lot of 2-1s. And I don't... I think their plan for this matchup needs to be get under me with 2-1s. So... The Unward Ego is really bad. Um, I think the Thought Erasure is also pretty bad. I think Teferi is only okay, especially on the draw. What do I think of that? Kaya gives you life and kills one drops. I mean, that's true, Marcos. That's true. Teferi bounce out. The Kai is nice. Yeah, I'm not going to cut all the, the Teferi's. They're just not great. We're halfway there. Nibbing on a prayer. That's gas. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want all my nibs. Because if I top deck a nib, the game just ends. Um, I'm trying to think if I want, like, Dromoka or anything. I don't think I do. Like, I just don't need to go over the top of this deck. I already do that very well. I just need to not get, have people get under me. So, I think Blood Baron, great. Kaya's fine. But I think Kaya's just, like, an upgraded to Fairy, which is the only reason it's going in my deck. And, I don't know, I think, I think our changes make a lot of sense. Uh, a removal spell on two and two Keratids? Yeah, we keep those. Like, if they thought sees me, I just don't even care. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, Sandstep Citadel. How do you like that? We're Abzan this game. We're just playing some Abzan action. We're going to take a lot of damage. Thought sees me. Deal. I got two Keratids. What you want? What you want? They probably need to take a Keratid because my mana sucks. Hmm, 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 hmm. They've drawn an average of one and a half Thought Seizes in two games. That is so tilting. I am the Raging Tilt Monster. They are not. The Nev! Rude. Alright. Whatever. We'll top like a Nev. You know how it is. Oh. Anybody, any, any standard fans out there? Anybody played standard in like 2014? Is this this pattern right here is going to look real familiar. How about turn 2 Carrington, turn 3 Siege Rhino? Big fan? I'm a fan. I'm not blocking that in a million years. Pump deal. You know about an abrupt decay. What the fuck are you doing? All right. Well, I mean, what I'm actually going to do is develop my mana. So red cut that. Green. Here's a carrot. Now we can play Niv if we draw it, and we answered their board. Activating there seems wild to me. All right, you got the stupid wrinkle? Yeah, you do. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to, like, graveyard this. I wonder if they're going to do all of the modes. Just player discards a card and sacrifices a creature. Okay, you're just going to let me... What? This seems awful for you. Why did you do this? I'll discard the Siege right now. Alright. And then I'll, I'll sack a carrot. Ooh, a Frontier Bivouac. That, that rounds out my mana pretty well. This makes me think they have another Rankle. If they have another Rankle, it's getting utter ended. He's going to meet its utter end. Unless they have Thought Season and Rankle, that'd be a beat. All right, I guess I'll decay this. Boop. Hmm. More removal, huh? I mean, we're still just in, like, if we ever top deck Niv or Blood Baron, like, we're in great shape. So, I'm just going to keep playing. Don't care about that. That's checked by my carrot. So, you're going to have to do better than that. Draw a card. Niv Mizzet Reborn. Deal. There it is. And the game's over. That's game. Game, 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 game. No, that's not the color. I need any green. And then this will produce my blue. Here's Niv. I got it. Good game. Put these white hard. 
What do I want? Bring the light or bring the light? I'll take bring the light. Ah. <sighs> All right, chat. I don't know. I have a, I have a pretty early front runner. <laughs> Big fan. Dropping Trilands is very funny. Opponent, would you like to keep playing? You have two cards. Oh, they went Murderous Rider. That's a good one. That's a powerful magic card. Rankle. Am I dead? Steals five? It's lame. All right, do stuff. You know I have a whole pile of stuff. You need to kill this. What you gonna do? Making me discard card seems bad. You probably just need to like do the sacrifice creature thing. Well, that also kind of sucks. All your lines kind of suck. Not gonna lie to you. Each player loses a life, draws a card. Each player sacrifices a creature. Sure. <laughs> Duress. That's a nice one. I mean, I got a bunch of answers to our rankles, so. Like, our next turn looks like Cut plus Kaya. Yeah. Cut plus Kaya is pretty nice. Like, we're going to gain some life. And we're going to kill the rankle. They take cut. We have Oath of Kaya. Like, all of our lines next turn look good. We're going to do a two drop plus a three drop no matter what. I don't think they get out of this. But, what do I know? They took Bring the Light. All right, they're just going to try to slog through it. You have no cards in hand. What? What is your plan? All right, well. So, can we cut plus Kaya? Yeah, we can, right? Black, white? All right, cool. Cut that. See ya. And then we're going to white, black, here's a Kaya. This Kaya looks good. Plus exile, blood soak champion, and I don't know. I guess Thoughtsies. We're incentivized to leave as many creatures in the graveyard as possible. Game three to six. Go. Then we have Oath of Kai and like, I'm sorry, we have Dispersal that we can like pick up something and make them discard it. Oh, where? No, where are you going, Raging Tilt Monster? This game was close. <sighs> Saddest duress ever. Yeah, where you just want to, just want to answer my all hand. Wow. That matchup looked lopsided. <laughs> Whew. Those nibs were nice. Yo, this deck looks good. Like, I get it. Big Red's like supposedly supposed to be like pretty scary and stuff but this deck is so sweet far sweeter than doing big red stuff that's for damn sure timmy timmy jm thank you much for the follow i really appreciate it Man, where's all the players gone? Give me some pioneer players. I want to nib more people. Nib's pretty sweet. It's kind of gas. Here we go. Get nibbed on opponent. I just want to like do so much more of this. Novins, think of it to follow. I really appreciate it. All right, what do we think of this hand? This hand kind of sucks. The mana isn't even overly good. The remove we do have removal spells, but the rhinos look bad. I'm just mulligating. I want a hand of all lands. Uh oh. I think the the flaws in this deck are beginning to expose themselves. The mana is heinous. Although a second land in this hand that's green would look so good. Opponent mulligan two. Make this game close. Hi Drake. This is Mikey Souls. I feel like this is a standard deck from 2015 all over again. It kind of feels like it, but it is way more powerful. This hand's really sweet. They mulligan as well. Yeah, we're mulligan again. All right, here we go. A handful of lands and some nibs. I'm here for it. We'll keep, like, one removal spell. We're going to keep, like, a nib and a removal spell is what we're going to do. Removal spell. We'll keep bring the light so that we have maximum nibs. If this gets discarded, we still have all the nibs in our deck. We're going to lead on the old Frontier Bivouac. Pioneer Staple, in case you're curious. This allows us to turn to cut if we need to. 
Jenny! Gifted a sub to Novin's Big Poggers. Thank you so much. We need some coursers? Yeah, no kidding. We need some coarser crew fix. That card's probably hard to cast. Congrats on the open, by the way, for making top eight. Thank you very much for paging narwhals. That means a lot. I think it's Bouviac. I don't know. Look, I didn't get it right. Ever. Let's look at this. How is it Bouviac? It starts with the I. Oh my god, more Thoughtseize strategies. Okay. Well, if the matchup's as lopsided as it looked last game, then we're probably all right. What would you like to pay to look? No. I might have screwed up. If I drew a three-drop, I can't cast it now. This was stupid. I should have played a Fable Passage. I just, like, started thinking. And, like, now they can get under us if I draw a three-drop. Punish me. Punish me. Give me a three-drop. Punish me, Zaddy. Hey, thanks for the bits. I really appreciate it. Oh, well, never punish. We're never casting that anyway. All right. Also, was not using a Dreadboard on a Scrap Heap Scrounger. I'm just going to let myself take some early damage. I'm definitely fetching black with this Fable Battle as well. Hit me for three. They're not at a wrinkle turn yet. Urborg. Well, now I might not be fetching black. Spawn of Mayhem. I guess we need to fetch... Alright. I'm gonna fetch... White, green, green. This one, not green. It needs to be. I don't know, something not green. Fetch. All my lands are dual lands now with black, so it's definitely not black. It might just. It needs to be white or red, I think. I think it needs to be white. Let's look. Um, yeah, it needs to be white because we have Supreme Verdict in our deck. Okay. My turn. Drake's turn. So we can cut this. It's pretty nice. Cuts not an instant, right? Cuts have looked really good. I'm impressed. Look at this quad land now. It's pretty nice. Build your own quad land. Cut that. Please F off. Go. All right. Now, any untapped land allows us to cast Bring the Light for the old Nivy Poo. So we're doing it. I'm just going to hold the Field Passage. We want the maximum chance of drawing a land. Maybe could have just held both Field Passage. What is this? Bloodsoak Champion. I do not care. You may be confused by thinking I care, but I do not. Hiri the Harbinger? Exile, target enchantment, tapped artifact, or tapped creature. That's gas. It's going to die, but that's okay. It served its purpose. Uh, this might actually just be better than uh, a hostage taker here. Exile that. Boom! Look at that! And now they have to like commit their blood soak champion to killing it? Oh, this is so gas. If they don't kill it, we get it back. Blood soak champions... Night of the Oven Legions. Okay. Need to draw a land really bad here. <laughs> Ally Encampment. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. It's a good land. Exile Scrappy. Get it out of here. They're trying to figure out if they're supposed to hit me or the Nahiri. Definitely me. Because if the Nahiri gets to kill your blood... I mean, sorry. Definitely Nahiri. If the, the Nahiri gets to cash out on your Bloodstone Champion, that's just gas. Like, we can just clear you back down to, like, one Bloodstone Champion, which is minus again, and then we uh, Dread War of the Night. But I really want to draw a land. It can also plus still help me draw a land. It's just, like, does it all. Nahiri just does it all. Nahiri was so good here. Big fan. Big fan of this Nahiri. It's nice stuff. Good shit. Is there a chance we maybe bring the light for Verdict? Against Bloodstone Champions? Doesn't feel good. But maybe there's a chance. Macross man, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I don't know. Like, I feel like Niv kind of solves that same problem. We're already at a pretty healthy life total. Like, even if they hit us here, put us to twelve, they're probably just hitting here. -y. Like, there's only six power on board. Like, if I draw the land, I'm definitely going for a Niv because I need to catch back up. Like, we're fairly likely to hit another Bring the Light. Did you finally figure out you're supposed to kill Nahiri? Cool. Land, please. 
<laughs> Fucking A. Um, I mean, we're going to play this land. Black, but now we have to dread bore the knight. We take four to ten. We play or bring the light as long as they don't draw Thoughtseize or Rankle. They have a lot of draws that punish us here and get us in trouble. All right. Only four is not bad. All right. Nothing? Nothing? Yes. All right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the Steam Vents, so I'm just not going to do anything. Black. Uh, I guess I need to fetch. Which is really awkward. Whatever. Uh, blue, 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 white, black, green, red, bring the light, dun da da da, dun. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to go for a verdict. Let's, we're, we're going to actually think after this. Okay. Siege Rhino blocks well, but they just bring the idiots back. Tulsimir yeets both of them. Or we can just niv and draw a bunch of cards. Fuck it. I came here to niv. I didn't come here to grab Tulsimir with Bring the Lights. Just, just, it's just not me. Sorry, Chad. It's not me. It's not me. Uh, the white card we want is definitely Supreme Verdict. Boom. Look at that. See? Never punished. We got another Bring the Light. I told you. I told you, Chad. I'm a genius. Who thought? Who here thought I was dumb? Who here thought I was dumb? Nobody. Nobody. Because I'm a genius. I'm just a genius. Look at this. This Niv card is a fucking drug. I tell you what. Swift End. Don't care. You can put me to six. Even if you draw Wrinkle, I can't Supreme Verdict you. And the game is over. Over, 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 over. Oh my god, we can call God's command back our Niv Mizzet? This is disgusting. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Thanks for the bet. I really appreciate it. It's always Niv unless you think you'll die next turn. Yeah, G Jay Shepard, that's kind of the impression I've gotten. Thanks for the bit, Jenny. Means a lot. <laughs> okay, the one bit doesn't mean as much as the million gifted subs you've given today. That's been really gas. Maybe give, give him like eight. Oh, God, shit, bust. What are you doing? Why are you in the tank? You're just going to hit me for four, maybe play this guy or not, and then pass. What? What, what is there to think about here? I might actually grab a Tulsimir here soon. I think Tulsimir's pretty good. And, like, we can call God's come back to Niv. So we already have access to a Niv here. So, like, grabbing a Tulsimir just to make sure we don't get punked out seems really reasonable. He's watching Theros Early Access streamers. Fair. Can Unmoored Ego and name Abandoned Hope? <laughs> the BMs. I mean, we're probably supposed to, like, verdict and then name this idiot. Because it gets it from the graveyard, right? They draw Rankle, we take seven, go to three, then we gun down their idiot with Tulsimir. All right, we're in a little bit of trouble if they draw Rankle, but not really even a lot. They draw Thoughtseize, I still don't really care. All right, yeah, I don't care about that. This puts me to six, so I can safely Verdict. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so we have three, we can name this. Or oh, we can just name Rankle. I might just name Rankle. Alright. I need to make sure I don't screw this up. So, blue, white, white, red, blue, black. Alright, we can still cast it. Here is a verdict. Yeet all that stuff. Actually, I'm probably supposed to call guns command this Niv back. Alright. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it. Let's this nib back. A drill ant. Red. Black. Another. <clears throat> Target player discards a card and return a creature. Where are you going? <laughs> I wanted to nib again. <laughs> this matchup is like so disgustingly good. What the fuck? And then we have a blood baron to get. Good game. Both these played hard. I'm going to board the exact same way. I just wanted to nip again and they conceded, chat. No! Ugh. No. 
All right, that erasure sucks. Boom. Boarding the same way. Nothing matters. They're done. Current record. How's this deck been? Uh, well, we haven't lost a game yet, but we've only played against Mono Black Aggro twice. This is our second match. This is our third game. We haven't lost a game. This matchup feels lopsided, Chad. Lopsided. This deck looks so good. I agree. I agree. This deck is fun as fuck, dude. It's just like putting Niv into play is a hell of a drug. Ty, please. Ugh. Man. This, this card really just gets me going. God, we could Colligons come back to Niv Mizzet and just. <laughs> Thoughts on the version of Niv versus a Tune Energy build? Cody, I have not seen the Attune Energy build. This is the... I've always only seen the Bring the Light builds. Based on how this is playing out, I'd be shocked if it was better. Like, from what I understand, the energy stuff in Pioneer is just not very good. But... The Attunes sound attractive. That sounds worse to me. Yeah. I think, I think, I think this build's probably better. How are we, like, three minutes out of our opponent on time? I guess we're not really making very many complicated decisions. We moved to five that game, chat, in case you forget. My stack is so sweet. I just want to nip more people. This kind of deck is like really what, what reinvigorates my love for magic, I tell you what. It's like Timmy nonsense that turns out to actually not be that much nonsense. Keep. I will keep any subset of functional mana. And we even have a Dork Bliss to Fairy. This hand's just like an all-star hand. This hand's so good. Thought sees me. Knight? All right, fine. Um, How am I supposed to sequence my lands? Woodland Cemetery. I need to be able to play a Carotid on two, Teferi on three. Um, We have Supreme Verdict in our deck, so I think I'm going to lead on Temple Garden. This man is also surprisingly not painful. Like, for as many shock lands as we have, we normally only shock, like, once max. But that's because our spells are a thousand mana. Yep, that's a problem. This is, well, this is one of their best draws. If we lose this game, like, it's because this is... Oh, never mind. Everything's great. Um, I'm actually going to... Uh, just decay this. I think. Well, I'm going to see what they do. I'm going to decay something. I don't know what I'm decaying. I think I'm decaying this and bouncing this. No blocks. Pass priority to damage. Oh, fuck. Black, green, decay this. That card's just going to represent the most damage, I think. Like I said, we're gonna probably get it to fairy next turn. I mean, we might just carry it that way. If we draw a Niv, we can just Niv on the next turn, which would be kind of sick. And we can also play Tap Land. Might do that. We'll see. We'll see what their follow up is. Rotting Regisaur. That is getting bounced. Although it sucks if we draw a Niv, but it doesn't suck that much. We're gonna yeet that back to their hand. We're gonna take three a lot. Ugh, I hate taking three a lot. <clears throat> It sucks being on the draw, I tell you what. Whatever. Here's tough. Yeet that one back to your hand. I didn't think they played that card. What the fuck? And then we can Fabled Passage, go get a red source and utter end. The three drop. Yup. Killing tough? Please kill tough. Oh yes. A bounce and gain three life. That's so good. Colligon's Command? That's not bad. Alright. Let's play a Sand Step Citadel. No, we need Otter End. Never mind. <clears throat> you discard a card. Yep. All right, well, let's fetch. <clears throat> we'll grab the mountain. We do not have very many red duels. Looks like we grabbed the mountain a lot. 
black, white, other end, that. And then we have Niv if we draw it. And we have to draw it. We also have Colagon's Command to, like, take out two creatures if they play an X2. So, like, if they play anything with two toughness, we could just go, like, Shatter Shock and, like, Combat next turn. It's pretty good. Or we could just Shatter Shock both. Gifted Aetherborn. We should get hit for two. Blood Baron of Vizcapa? Whew. <laughs> Chat, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. I was originally thinking going Shatter Shock. Now I just want to play Blood Baron. And the game probably ends. Yes. Wait, here's this one. I got it. Wrinkle's their only way out. But they had four mana, didn't play Wrinkle last turn. So... Are we done here? Are we done here? Dragon Lord Dramoka. Makes me feel nice. That card's good. Opponent, you, uh, you know what this one does? This is a standard all-star. Come on. It was great in the Esper Control deck. No Rankle, please, Daddy. No! Okay, never mind. I don't care about that one. That is not one I care about. You gonna attack? No attacks, so. Strange. Wild how that works. Niv Mizzet. Okay, and... Well... Um... This deals one everybody, and then if I'm less than ten, so it could hit me for, like, six or some shit. Don't care. Don't care! Showed up to cast Nivs. Here's Niv, Nivy Poo, Nivy Dad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then cut no longer kills that. That's a tilt. Um, we're not attacking. I'm more than happy to trade with the spawn of mayhem, but Did I have Rankle? Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. Hit us each for one. It gets counter, right? Oh, if you have less than ten life? God, that sucks. So swift in this. Hit me for four. I go to four. I think you're supposed to stun at everybody, right? Okay. Yup. So we can cut this. Oath of Kaya this. No! Don't drill bit me. That's lame. <sighs> We'll figure out how to live. I'm pretty sure we live very easily here. I just kind of need to figure out how. I think we just win. I don't know. My opponent's probably going to keep playing no matter what. Which is kind of gas. They took the... Yeah, that makes sense. That's the cleanest answer to your stupid spawn of whatever. Alright. Nahiri the Harbinger? That's a pretty nice one. So we yeet that. I don't want to shock just to Othakaya. I kind of want to Teferi it. But at the same token, I kind of want to just Nihiri it. And I also don't want to get burned out. So what reach do they have? If they draw a Rankle, they kill me? That's not great. So... I guess we're doing what I suggested. Which is holding this Nihiri. We can just do stuff later. All right. Um, white, blue, another, and then we have black, white. Okay, cool. So we can Oath of Kaya this, or yeah, this, and then we can yeet that. Let's do very first. Minus three, yeet that. VTL is a nice one. Gives me a little insurance. Black, white, another Othakaya. Um, I could shoot Scrap Heap Scrounger, but I just don't care that much. Oh. All right, and then, oh, we need to play my land. Nope. We can play the Harry next turn. We'll figure it out. I don't know. Not super, not in a super rush to get anything done here. Mute Vault, fine by me. Spawn of Chungusosity. It's fine. Alright, Scattered Grove. Which doesn't really matter. Probably gonna grab something that answers this cleanly. I don't know. What about... Another Niv-Mizzet? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. We can verdict, but I don't want to verdict. We can Colligon's command. Don't super love that. Attack verdict, right? Never mind, you right. I mean, just grabbing another Niv puts a big thing in the way. Like, they can't kill us, and we have Nahiri follow up. So I think I'm just going to Niv again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can also carrot it, which is nice. I might actually attack. Because I can carrot plus Niv. That's just, like, fine. Eh, don't love any of these lines. Plus red, black, green, white, blue. Let's bring the white. It's just, it's just what we're going to lead off with. Done. We'll figure everything out from there. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Verdict. Questing beast. Ooh, ooh. Siege Rhino. Okay, I just want to kill this. Nah. Niv. Cast. Rupt K. Not bad. Is Rupt K better than Carrot? Probably not. Play. Green, green. So if they draw a Rankle, am I dead? No. Carrot. Alright, go. Alright, you're up. We each take a damage. Six. I'm just constantly going to do the Rankle check. If they draw a Rankle, am I dead? Is going to be the check. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? All right, now we have to attack with Blood Baron. Unbelievable. Even if you fire this up, you do not have good attacks because I just easy block, easy block. So you're just attacking with Spawn of Mayhem. Okay. I mean, I can't block. Ooh. Drawing these Murder Striders has been kind of a beating. Kind of a beating, so pretty verdict. Plus this up. Alright, fine. I'll just like verdict on my turn. Red. White. Black. Green. Here's Nahiri. Minus two. Exile that. So we can just attack with Blood Baron, make them think we don't have anything. Or we can just go grab another Niv. What matters? I don't know. Nothing matters. I'm going to attack with Blood Baron. We can just, like, verdict on their turn. It's probably fine. And then we'll just cast another Niv next turn. Nothing, nothing matters at all. Could instant speed Niv and eat the spawn? Nah. Don't want to do that. There we go. What are you doing? Oh, well, that's really convenient. Uh, yeah, drain you. Can you actually cast the Niv at instant speed with this? Does that bypass the rules or whatever? Are you just done? Hello? Oh. They forgot about Uthakaya triggers. They went to kill my walkers. <sighs> I guess I should have tried it. Whatever. I have, haven't lost the game. This mono black matchup feels lopsided. Give me a more mono black. I would like to play more of this matchup. Deck's too good. I can't command chat. I didn't have the mana, right? Did I have carotid? No, I had carotid up. I could have commanded. But no, I wanted to command to get the Niv back. We could Niv more. You're right. I'm probably supposed to command after that. Nothing mattered because they conceded to Othakaya. <laughs> they are just dead. Gas. <laughs> Look, chat. I can ape my way. I can beat my chest. Nothing matters. Put Niv on the stack. The game ends. Okay? That's all you have to do. You just make decisions at random and nothing matters. Timing restrictions based on card type are ignored with Bring the Light. Okay, cool. I didn't actually know that. I, I It's really... That one I struggle with a lot. The, like, whatever bypasses, like... The uh, the timing stuff, I really struggle with that a lot. 
I'm going to main phase on my spells. Team Greed. Oh, Team Greed. What do you know about Greed? What is with these one land, like, keratins? Like, I just need a second land. Or, like, oh my god. Ugh. This feels like a hand I would keep if it was a Vancouver mulligan, but we're in the London mulligan era, and Niv-Mizzet unmulligans us very well. I just kind of want to mulligan to, like, a four land hand and just, like, cast Niv-Mizzet. Just game ends. This deck is insane. Whoops, blue-white. I don't know that it whoops blue-white. There's a reason we have a lot of cards for the matchup. All right, this is a keep. Uh, we can't cast this, so I'm going to bottom it. I feel like I need the Niv. Maybe I just don't need this Discovery. All right. I was going to use the Discovery to find more lands, but... Eh, eh, nothing matters. We have we already have what we want. We have the Niv. We just need to draw some lands. I don't know. We're, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. No! It's the mirror! Oh, fuck, Jet. Well, we're on the play. That's probably really good. So, we need to find a red source. I regret bottoming, and especially the carotid, I regret bottoming the stupid discovery. Ugh, we're so dead. The freaking mirror? I mean, at least Team Gre Greed was true to their name. Oh, fuck. They drew the one thought of shirt. This is so unlucky. We're about to lose a mirror. I can't imagine this Pioneer is going to remain remotely reasonable if I just play a bunch of mirror matches. I feel dead. I feel dead, chat. I'm dead inside. Well, I mean, another land isn't bad. We're going to play the one they know about. Oh. We had to K for a thing if they have a thing. I don't know what things we can actually decay in this matchup to fairies. So we're just going to draw a card and then we're going to decay it and feel like an idiot. Can blood hit planes or no, it's each opponent. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my turn. All right. All right. All right. Ooh, a red source. That's nice. We just need to draw Niv now. We just need to draw Niv Daddy. Okay. Please have nothing. What do you have on four mana? Nothing, 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 nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing, huh? It's kind of nice that they're like at seven cards, so if they cast that Niv, like they're going to just be moving to discards almost immediately, whereas if we draw Niv, like we're just refueling our hand. I don't actually know what matters in this matchup. It does feel like the first person to cast the Niv is pretty favored, but I don't know. I'm not even sure that this deck doesn't really have a bad matchup. That's at least what Nassif said. Sure, why not? Chad is a poggers. Hey, J Train. Unmoored Ego? Oh. That matters. Huh. Do they name Bring Delight or Niv Misery Born? Because if I draw a Bring Delight on this turn, I could just name their Niv Mizzets? Yeah. Okay, that actually kind of sounds. That actually is like really smart. My opponent knows what's going on. Drawing this one seems really good. I hope we draw one of my two remaining Niv Mizzets to punish them for this. Hopefully they also miss land drops so we have a chance because I feel so dead. I don't think they're going to miss a land drop chat. Fuck. I feel very dead. Niv Mizzet. Siege Rhino, baby. On time and on schedule. All right, Rhino, you're powered up. Get in there. Put this in tapped and pass the turn. We got Rhinos. That's what we got. That's what I got. They have niv -Mizzets, I got Rhinos. Yep. Ugh. Well, this game is squarely over. We can, like, try and tempo them out by utter ending their niv -Mizzet and then just, like, beating them over the face with the Siege Rhino. That's, like, something we can do. It's not great. They have their own rhino. <gasps> they don't have the misage. Chat, 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 chat. There's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Oath of Gaia. White. I don't know. Green. Black. Blue. Utter and move, rhino. Oh, fuck. I suck. What? It made black. Move, rhino. Get out the way. This is, this is called tempo. <laughs> Those of you at home, this is some tempo action. 
<laughs> we got we got a burn spell in the form of Oath of Kaya. We're just doing it. Doing it. Why did you grab a run source here? What do you have? Nothing? You're just like fetched for no reason? Alright, we got we got a little reach. We got a nice rhino. Going in, chat. We're going in. <laughs> Three CMC Lightning Helix. Busted, Chad. It's busted. Oh, I can't believe we had our freaking things on already good. We only have two Niv Mizzes left to draw to, too. This is just so bad. Why are you fetching? Do you, what do you have for six mana? You aren't missing black. You should finally have the Niv Mizzet? What's happening? Yep, that's fine. Don't care. I actually think I care. They have the Nahiri as well in their deck. This is so bad. They have a Rascal Gregari Queen too. Clean up, ha ha, you had to move to discards. Our own Niv Mizzet. Or something that removes their Niv Mizzet. I think, think we can go ahead and call this one. Both teams played hard. We interrupt this program to bring you 2014. Rhino is back. Rhino, smaller than Niv Mizzet Reborn. 2019 card, better than mine. What matters in this matchup? Discarding Rhinos. Beating them over the face. This card's probably actually worth considering. Uh, Mystical Dispute counters Bring the Light and the Niv Mizzet. I'm bringing it in. Uh, um, Kaya sucks. That sucks. Everything sucks. The Unboard Ego looks incredible. Dreadboard's probably fine. Abrupt Decay looks heinous. Heinous. Um, Questy Beast is good. Utterance fine. Here he's fine. Tulsimir sucks. Should never using that to do anything. Rhinos probably just suck too. It's just not, not what this matchup is about at all. Maybe Cabal's okay. Is Cabal better than another Rhino? Like, they have a bunch of non creature spells. All right, all right, I'm in. I'm in. We're going to try it. Boop. Another Rhino. Jenny! What's up? Casual 7 for 1. Very casual. Very casual. Do I want this Thought Distortion card? Is this card, like, reasonable? I don't know. Fuck it. Let's just try stuff. Rhino sucks. All right. I don't want big dumb beaters in this matchup. Chat is bad. When did that change? I don't know. Somebody changed it. I'm leaving the ribbons in. Maybe that sucks. All right, I'm not leaving the ribbons in. Give me anything with text. All right, I'll take a decay. The decays are for Teferi's. And for picking up my Othakai is to kill stuff. All right, I just put cards in my deck at random, put, got, brought out the stupid beaters. I mean, honestly, like, I don't know. I don't know. The Abrupt K is also kind of dead. Maybe it should just be a Siege Rhino. Uh, this hand is good, I think. Keep. We're going to Thought Erasure them on two and then hold this beat up for the rest of the game. That's my plan. Team Greed is going to Team Greed it. We have a lot of our colors, which is nice. In fact, I think we have the whole suite of colors between these two lands, but the, the Bivouac's carrying a, lot of, carrying a lot of weight. These Tri-Lands have been good. They've really smoothened out our mana a lot. The, the old the old Niv Mizzet mirror, a eh? The Niv Mizzet mirror, a eh? How reasonable. Ooh, baby, baby. This, I love how we have the like punishment decay already in our hand. It's pretty nice. I think I think you are supposed to name Niv Mizzet with the first ego because even if you get your Niv Mizzet's like gotten like you're just still ahead on tempo I don't know I kind of wonder if they screwed up because like there's a chance I still win that game by just drawing an actual Niv or is it the name Niv it's probably fine mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are they considering doing? 
Shock. You're just like considering holding up the dispute turn one. That's gas. All right. Well, I'm gonna hold up the dispute for their thought erasure and try to get them with the got em. Try to get them with the got em, chat. Because this is obviously a dispute. They brought disputes in as well. Hmm. Hmm. But if we don't draw another blue stars, we get that erasure with dispute backup, which is kind of a tilt. <clears throat> and playing this land means I can't do it next turn no matter what. I'll dispute that and then thought erasure them. Who? Gotcha. I did the thing you were doing. Oh my god. Whatever. Blue. I definitely got punished for my sequencing this game, but like, I wanted to get this in tapped. I don't know. What you got? You brought the Blood Baron in? Mystical Dispute, some Sylvan Keratids. I don't think I care about any of this but the Mystical Dispute. I already have my fifth land and access to all my colors. Red, blue, black, green, white. So we're gravy heavy match. Alright, so we know their hand is these cards. They drew... Well, they just played the Carotid and Steam Vents. They know they have Carotid Blood Baron. Supreme Verdict? That's a nice one. That's a really nice one, actually. Because, like, now they're incentivized to play second carrot, especially if they miss a land drop, and we just get to wrath their two carrots. That's kind of gas. Two unknowns. Even if they play Blood Baron, we'll just wrath that, and then put them behind. One more to Ego? Jesus, dude. That was a huge draw. Okay. Well. Bring the light. Sure. Ego was a good one. I am not convinced that we maybe played this game okay, but... Them drawing their one of Ego both games naturally is, like, pretty stupid. But I guess you got me. I could discard them. I think that kind of sucks. Um, they naturally draw a land. They could have it. I don't think they do. Do I verdict this away? Like, we don't really have anything going on. So, I don't think I'm going to. Like, as long as this threat of this verdict exists, they can't just, like, do the fair plan and we get to just, like, take draw steps and then maybe we draw, like, counter spells or, like, my own Unmoored Ego and shit. Like, there's, like, a lot of very good draws, I think, in our deck. Teferi. Sure. I have a decay I'm itching to use. Missing land drops, A. Eh? Um. So we could call our guns, command them to kill that, but I think I'm, like, the abrupt decay is only really lining up against that. Abrupt decay. This tapped. Now, any of our six drops, we draw our life, which is kind of nice. Draw land. You did. Maybe we should have verted this. I don't know. Verting this Niv plus the uh, the Keratid's probably fine, but we're probably in a lot of trouble. We were probably in a lot of trouble no matter what, given how this game's played out.
It just kind of sucks. Like, I feel like we played this game well. And, like, I thought Erasure there and their hand kind of sucked. Like, they brought bad cards in. And I feel like them just, like, drawing the Unmoored Ego both games just kind of determined the match. All right. Uh, now we probably just have to draw the six mana discard their whole hand card or we just die. The Thought Distortion, which I'm glad I brought that card in. In hindsight, I think it's really good for answering, like, a, a div. Thought Distortion. Nope. All right, well, white, white, blue, another. There's definitely an argument that I maybe should have brought it, like I should have verdicted them earlier, but I think verdicting the one thing when they have, like we know about two creatures just dialed up is like really stupid. Man, naming Brina Light has to be wrong. I mean, yeah, maybe if I draw Nift Visit, it's like certainly going to like put me in a position to maybe come back in this game. But like, I only have three Nift Visits to draw to. If they draw a counterspell at any point, we're just in a lot of trouble. I mean, really, right now, we're just constricting their mana. Not to reassure me, you take my Cogon's Command. It's fine. You have used your Thought Erasure. You don't have this in your hand. You don't have this in your hand. You don't have this in your hand. You do have this. Niv! Heary. Alright, well, that plays. Um... I think we want to leave black, blue, white open. I think we can tap another white. Then here he plus two, discard this, draw this. I don't know, I'm sure. Maybe this, maybe this plays. I don't think they can div again. They have a verdict to Teferi. Like verdicting is actively bad. They can dispersal this away. The Franza A, hey, what's going up? Adam Franzi, thank you very much for the follow. I think your first name's Adam, right? I just know your last name's Franzi, and everybody knows you as Franzi, so that's kind of where I'm at. That's where I'm at. <laughs> thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I mean, like I said, we're still in this game. We can draw to, like, the six mana and make them discard their whole hand card, or, like, my own Div Mizzet, and I think we're, like, actively playing this game. And the Awkward MTG, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I think, I think we are in it, if that happens. But this game is going to be a tough one to win. Them drawing their goofy... I'm more ego both games has been kind of a punk out. Maybe they have more on board egos than we do. It's possible. Trigger! Trigger. Look at that. Exiled it. It's gone. Niv miss it. Um, I don't have anything that loots from now on, right? But they have a call against Commander about, so I need to hold this. Does that have Death Touch? No, it just doesn't do anything. Thanks for the bit, Jenny. I really appreciate it. Ty is the best. You should do exclamation point Ty before giving bits. Maybe read Ty is the best a bunch. Let's cast. Ty. Isn't Ty the best? You have another Niv? Oh, Tulsimir? Puke. Why is this still in your deck? They left all the bad cards in, and they're beating me up with them. Because I don't have divs. Well, I have divs. I just don't have one. Niv it. Oath of Kaya. We are, like, literally treading water. But, like I said, they've been constricted on mana, which is the only way we're even still playing this game. Trying to draw to our Niv before they draw, like, a counter spell or anything that matters. But I think they still have the Nahiri in their hand. Like, they have Teferi they can play, which is why we killed that, by the way. They can just Teferi pick it up. They have a Teferi, they have a Nahiri. They have this Discovery Dispersal. They have this Blood Baron. They just have the whole kitchen sink. We are out of sweepers. Yup. Now they don't really have any good options to pick up, so they probably should just minus and draw a card. You get plus. That's not very good, though. Use the fairy. I don't think they have this verdict. Nahiri. Sure. Use Nahiri. Plus up. <laughs> Last bit left. <laughs> thanks for thanks for throwing it my way, Ty. You've been great. Then K command back the Niv. They hit a land next turn. It's fair. I mean, we're not doing great. 
Are we picking up this other guy? Probably. Um, white. White. Uh, blue. Is this the blue land we want to tap? I think something going to tap this blue land. All right, I think this leaves me open. Minus, return this to my hand. Gas. So we can gun down the Nahiri. That kind of sucks. Don't really think it's a winning strategy. Let's just try to keep my Teferi around so that if we do draw Nib, we're in okay shape. White, black, white. Oath of Kaya. Target that. All right, go. <sighs> So they can kill Teferi with Colagon's command and return their Niv if they drew a land. Yeah, we're not in good shape. Yep. I guess... We have a clock over them, so that's a big win. I mean, I have to find a way to win this game to get a game three. They're, them being five minutes behind right now just, like, makes me more irritated. Because it just means it's going to take them longer to win. Like, we probably died the second they cast a niv it, but, like, we're just kind of treading water. And, like, eventually they're going to hurry up another Niv, which is just going to be hard to win. Yep. They discard the Sacred Foundry? What are they doing? Blood Baron. Sure. Sure. Alright. Niv miss it. Alright. That's probably the death knell. I'll play one more turn for the sake of posterity. Because I really, really want to draw Niv visit to punish them for Unmorty going the wrong thing. But I think we're very dead. Uh, play this tapped. Black, white, another. Here's this. I think we played and boarded generically better than our opponent this entire match. But it just has not mattered at all because they cast the Niv first and Niv goes way over the top of everything. So that's like a little frustrating. This mirror is not great. If this deck becomes popular, I'm not interested in playing a bunch of mirrors where like the Unmored Ego randomly steals games. That's fine. That card doesn't matter at all. Ugh. Yep, she went to, went to Fairy. I don't know about any of their cards now, right? Well, no, I know about these. They can clear my hand out, but it's not the easiest thing to do. They keep getting rid of Lance and not Colgan's commanding there. Think back. Did they get a different black red card with their. Niv? How did they not get this? What you got? Another Niv? Another Niv. Alright, like I said, I'll take one more draw step at mine. And I think mine could give me enough cards to get me back in the game, especially because I can play a card immediately when I do get it. But uh, they found a Bring the Light, so they found another one. They can't get Siege right now. They actually only found a Bring the Light off that? That's actually kind of gas. Okay. Hit me for a bunch. Train! Our Nivs are stuck at the back. The Bring the Lights. Alright. Niv! Alright, I'm over it. We lose. I don't know. It's still shockingly close. Like, we draw Niv at any point. Like, we could get clawed back in, but... We did not... Mirror sucks. Dislike. I'm ready to go lame. Next match, we'll visit some other people that aren't unmerdy going me. Ugh. Alright. Here we go. Severa. Prepare to get nived. His hand sucks. Nothing is castable. Keeping it anyway, because it has a bunch of lands in it. Has a bunch of lands, has a niv, has a removal spell. Like, we just once again want to draw lands. And even if we draw if we draw Keratid, Keratid's a great draw. So basically any land on our deck, like I really do mean any land, 
And because like if we get to four, we can cast Nahiri. If we find a blue land, we cast this. If we find a black land, we cast this. Um, so basically, like any land in our decks are good draws. And then we have like reasonable spells on a reasonable curve. Hey, the mono black deck again. You love to see it, chat. This one's the zombie variant. What just happened? All right. That was weird. All right. I wonder if the zombie variant's harder. Why is everybody mono blacking? We should play a bunch of mono black this thing. Scrap heap, you got it. Niv, not the best draw. Well, I said any land's a good draw. So far, we've not drawn one. Hopefully we do, or we are going to die. Draw a black source is ideal because we can put a rhino in their face. Like they obviously have swift in for it, but that's a good one. That's also a good one. That's a counter good one. Still not drawn a land, but I mean, I guess if we're not gonna draw a land, that's among the best non-land cards we can draw. But I think we are dead. Oh fuck, I'm an idiot, they played an Urborg. Well, I would still probably do this. Wrinkle? Never mind. I would have used the abrupt kick. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what I need now. I need help. I don't think I can live. An untap a generic untap land that lets me cast Rhino is probably okay. <laughs> nice untapped land idiot. Alright. Yep, we just got murked. I don't know how often those games happen, but I mean I think my keep was reasonably founded. We just died. Alright, I'm gonna sideboard the exact same way I sideboarded before. Not gonna change a thing. I'm gonna become great at sideboarding in this specific way in this matchup. Um, Unready goes bad, and I think one Teferi is bad. Oop. Blue cards are the deck. You can't decay spawn. Is it not a three a three drop? I just cost three mana, I guess is uh what's it called? As a spectacle. My mirror lost or lose is the same thing. They had nibs and I couldn't draw them. Yeah, the mirror looks kind of crappy. Yeah, it's two black black or spectacle, one black black, sure. There's my, that's as extensive as my knowledge goes, I suppose. Hmm. I wonder if we're supposed to have the Dramoka in this deck. I keep wondering if is good in this matchup, but six mana is a lot. Like, we'd rather just be nibbing for that. I'm going to keep this. We have a Discovery to trade in our land drops. We already have, like, a Blood Baron and a Bring the Light, so we have two really good discard targets when they thought sees us. So, we're, we're all right. And we have the Teferi for turn three, so we're doing okay. Our mana is also probably not going to hurt too much. What you got? Thoughtseize, something typo negative. Thoughtseize me. Yes! Thoughtseizing me over playing a turn mode one drop is, like, so good for me because it gives me time, and I just, like, have a million nibs in my deck that I can top deck at basically any point. So just like basically taking the turn off to where I know we're not getting hit next turn is like so gassed. We found a land anyway. We're so good. Yeah, no, it's shocking they took the uh, Blood Baron. Uh, cast Discovery. Let's find some lands. Uh, you went top, top. Top, top. Sure. Sounds good. Draw this. Play this so we can fetch a white source. Sure, hit me for four. Hopefully they play something three mana so that we can Teferi it. <clears throat> white. Okay. Wholesome mirror. That's a good draw. Requires green, green. Um, in case we draw a tap land, I'm going to go ahead and play the Teferi. This one enters tapped. Sure, we'll bounce that one. Ooh. Boom. Look at me. I'm a genius. Found a tap land. All right. Now we're just like a really healthy life total. So we can like... Oh. Well, that's bad. I might just Tulsa mirror that down. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Let's 
confused there for a minute as to what is what I'm supposed to be doing. This player discards a card. You got it. Um, discard that one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Green, just guy, black, green to white. Done. We're gonna grab a Niv, because we're nowhere close to dying. Niv! Is it? Cast. Yeet! A Colorant's command? That gets back a Blood Baron. Go! So they kill my creature, hit me, make me discard a card. That's cool. Oh, they don't want to play anymore. Never mind, they don't have the removal spell. Easy clap! <laughs> Whew! Niv is a hell of a drug. Although nobody keeps playing afterwards. It's so frustrating. What are you doing? Come play magic with me. This game's close. Alright, well, I'm just gonna click submit. Close game! Close game! These black matchups just feel so freaking good. <laughs> like, we literally don't even do anything in the first, like, four or five turns or whatever most of the time. Yep, snap keep. Like, it's just got functional mana. We're just keeping that every time. No reds, a tilt, but whatever. Thought sees me. Don't play one drop creature. Yay! Every time they thought sees me, I just get so excited. Thought sees me is just not it, Chief. It's just not it. It's not it. Oh, that was such a good draw. Oath of Kaya is a nice one to fill out the curve. Because, like, now we just have, like, removal spells that are like, oh, sure, that's fine. I picked up a great one! <laughs> Keep discarding me. I promise it's a good plan. I'll draw more good ones. Hopefully. Got a one drop. Got a little little Savannah Lions action. Do have some Savannah Lions action, but I drew a great one against Savannah Lions. All right. Well, this is among the best ones to draw. Have that. Go. Yup. I will block. They did not elect to attack Strange. Oh, that's so good, too. I mean, I'm slamming that, right? Yeah, I'm slamming that. White. Black. Green. Here's a Siege Rhino. Your turn. I mean, this is probably getting swift-ended, and then I'm going to get hit for some amount, but I am not worried about it. Noxious Grasp. Sure, dude. Putting me over 21, pretty nice, especially after shocking. Don't hate to see it. Got a rifle for me? You do. Okay. Okay. Oh, they can maybe sack a creature. I mean, there's nothing I could really do about a rifle at instant speed either. Player discards a card, sack switch creature. Okay. Discard a card. Call against command. Okay, sack that, sack versus creature, cut, that sucks. Wrinkle's so annoying. Tilt, kill that. Well, we can cast more Rhinos we draw at least. Alright, they drew a land, they can lock Twain, or bring back their idiot, they brought back their idiot. Well, that's good draws. Teferi, among them. White, blue, Teferi's fine draw. We take these. If you were playing mono black Niv, would you side out Thoughtseize? If you are playing mono black versus Niv, would you side out Thoughtseize? I wouldn't side out Thoughtseize. I would just probably not lead on it. Like, I would probably cast it later. Like, the turn before I Niv or something, right? Like, or the turn before I get Sweeper. Like, I want to get on the board quick. Like, thoughts using on turn one is attractive because it's a one drop or whatever, but like, just get on the battlefield and start attacking. Don't give up an attack. Just a thoughts ease. Drew land and another one drop. That was good. That's good shit. Well, we can't do that, so I need to draw a red source. I need to draw a red source and I'm gonna get beat over the face until I do, which honestly is pretty miserable. At least if they attack to fairy, I get a trigger, which looks like they're going to do. Big fan of that. Can they pump twice? They can. That's such a tilt. Alright. Red land, please. 
Red land, please. Black land. This lets me go for four, which grabs a Supreme Verdict. Is there anything better for four mana? Because now is the time we kind of need to figure that out. What's good for four mana? Questing Beast isn't bad. It might just have to be Supreme Verdict. I can't get Blood Baron. Hmm. We could get a Siege Rhino. That kind of sucks. Could get a Nahiri. Exile the... Idiot. I think it's supposed to be Supreme Verdict. Which honestly is really miserable. Can't get your Planeswalkers. This doesn't get Planeswalkers. Incident Sorcerer or Creature. Pog Champ. I mean, we can just bring both of these idiots back. So we're basically just verdicting this. And that just sucks. I don't like that. One or fewer cards in your hand. Yeah, they just like bring these idiots back. It tempos. I don't think that's good. So I'm just going to play my land tapped, and I'm actually just going to pass. Like, I think we need to draw a red land, or we're just dead. But I think, like, trying to cut them off, like, some damage is dumb. We can cast a sorcery. All right. Now, we'll do it next turn if we, burf, if we whiff again. But the upside of, like, hitting a red source and being able to get a blood baron is so high. All right. Need a vault? Jesus, dude. Jesus, dude. It's a lot of mana. Not a lot to do with it. Maybe we're supposed to cycle this? I don't think so. Fuck. All right, I think we're dead. I think this basically means we're dead. So disappointing. So just had five mana, one of which is red. Maybe I screwed up by like not like doing something with the character or something. I don't know. Like there's a chance I messed this game up. I think I'm going to play all my lands. Just hope to draw out of this. But they basically get to return all their creatures and hit for t hit me for two. So we're in a lot of trouble. Yep. Needed a red source pog. Gonna die with a bunch of red cards in hand. Hate to see it. Bring back both Dread Wanderers. Doesn't put Leaf on board, but comes close. Blood Baron's still an out. Blood Baron's probably the best possible card we can draw. A red source isn't awful. We could hit for six. I mean, these cut to rivets are never mattering. And if they draw anything that matters, like ever, we're just dead. But like I said, I think Blood Baron still gets me out even after this turn. We get a three, like, block. Land's fine. They can't double activate Lock Twain just yet. They can't if they draw land. Bring back Blood Soak Champion. Cast Blood Soak Champion. Whew! We did nothing and died. Wow, that's depressing. We need an Anger of the Gods. If we had Anger of the Gods for that Bring the Light to get... We would be very good shape. Instead, we just died. I think Anger of the Gods is also really good, like I said, against the uh, the Dredge deck. And, I don't know, just seems like... Just seems like a really good card for this deck. I think, I think we should be playing some number of Anger of the Gods. At least one. But, no, there's definitely a chance I screwed that game up by, like, exposing my character. I don't know what I could have done differently, but it feels like... It feels like that game was winnable. It feels like we had the tools to win that game and it just slipped away. It says something that, like, I stumbled that hard, had, like, a handful of uncastables, and we were still, like, drawing live. Like, that mono black matchup is so good. It is comically good. You're actually drawing anger in your 12 red source deck? I mean, it's not ideal. But, like, that probably just means you can't play very many of them. Like, we're, we're already stretching our mana base really badly. 
I don't know if there's like a. I guess we can play uh, the f- stupid, the void one, right? It's like fraying something. Flaying tendrils. I think it's flaying tendrils. I maybe shouldn't have played that land first. I'm hoping to draw another land and use draw like play this fabled passage last. As just a generic fetch land. We'll see if that actually plays out. Curated, sure. Can't do anything to that curated, so I'm just gonna play my own. Carrot stick. Plus we got a few three drops we can play and get our land in tapped. It'd just kind of be a tilt if we can't play Nahiri on four. What do you have? Gather the pact? It's the dredge deck, eh? Oh, sure. All right, so yeah, we're going to name... Um, what's it called? We're going to name Soul Flare with this, like, ASAP. Murderous Riders. So they put the Nullhide Ferox in their hand? No, don't discard me. Okay, they're not. They're just playing dorks. What are you doing? Oh, a lot. That's fine. All right, we have four mana. We can just shoot this down with the Oath of Kaya. But then we run the risk of getting killed. I don't want to get killed. Oh, we can always just exile this with Nahiri, too. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, let's play this. One more Digo. You. Name Soul Flare. Soul Flare. We cannot beat that one. Get it. They have Murder Shrider, Nullhide Ferox, and Ronus. That's actually a pretty good hand, I'll told. Kind of chungusly, but a pretty good hand. Alright, got him. Go. So, what we know out of their hand is... Well, that was their draw. They have Ronus, Nullhide Ferox, and I think Swift End. So, we'll see how this goes. I don't know what they're going to do with this Lotlith troll. Because I feel like they're just going to cast the Ronus this turn. I'm not blocking that in a million years. Discard the Ronus. Okay, well that was actually one of the cards I was most scared of in your hand. Interesting. No light fair axis. It's just a vanilla 6-6, six, six, huh? Um, one card left in hand. I'm gonna go grab white, and we have Abzan, and we can just play the Rhino, and worry about exiling this later. They can't cast on creature spells. The last card in hand is Swift End, so they can't cast the Swift End. Could also just tap red and yeet this. Also Oath of Kaya this. They just have no mana up. And we take six. That might be okay too. Just like cutting this, Oath of kaya this, doing like anything to it seems fine. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't super feel threatened by anything going on on their side of the table. So I guess I'm going to Oath of Kaya this. Black, white. Because they only have one creature in hand, so like they can't get out of the Othokai. The Othokaiing. They don't have black man up to regenerate. Don't do what Nasif do. Yate. What did Nasif do, Cold Chaos? Huh. This is an interesting spot we found ourselves in. It's kind of sick picking off a lot with trouble with a damage based burn spell like that. I don't feel like that happens very often. This like murderous rider is just like kind of stranded in their hand too. I wonder if they're gonna like fall for it and just play it. Ronus, that was a good one. Another creature with power forward reader, sure. To fairy. So this gets to attack if we do anything. So, I guess I'm going to play Nahiri and then yeet this. 
And then they can play the Swifted guy, and then unless they draw land, they can't make it big enough to kill Manahiri. Seems fine to me. And they don't have enough mana to cast Nahiri right now, or to cast Swift End. This needs to be white. White. Um... Here is the Nahiri. We're just kind of like trotting through their stuff. Alright. Minus tape exile this. Go! Second Ronus is kind of an obnoxious pickup. I was pretty happy when they got rid of the first one. They just conceded? Why? You're not dead. We're like 100% still playing Magic. Okay, sure. Just dead. Got it. Um, Any exile effect would be real super. Because being soul flayers can be kind of hard. Uh, soul flayers are usually indestructible. I guess the graveyard hate card's good. Actually, maybe just all the graveyard hate's good. Ego and named Ego instead of Flare and lost the game. Gas. Is Rest in Peace actually good, Jeremy? Like, what else does it shut down other than specifically Soul Flare? Is that just enough? There's no other, like, graveyard stuff going on in that deck. And they could just completely sidestep it by boarding out Soul Flares. Like, this card would have no tax for the stuff Soul Flares not in their deck. I don't think the Decays are very good. I think the Colagon's going to get a lot worse if we're boarding and rest in peace. I don't think their plan is to fight us in the Counterspell Axis, so Teferi seems a fair bit worse. The Sweeper might be good, too. Big green idiot, so... I had two rip, two dispute... Three mana counter spell or three mana mana leak is not exciting in this matchup. Nahiri and Utter integrate. Quest of Beast might just suck. I don't think Quest of Beast does suck. The only thing is we're going to lose to is Soul Flare, so maybe just two rip. I'll buy that. What am I keeping around? Teferi? Teferi's fine. Bouncing Soul Flare is actually really gas. And they don't always have uh, whatever it's called. They don't always have Hexproof, but they pretty often have, like, Haste and, like, Indestructible and shit. Because they have, like, some Ronuses and, like, a Death Touch all the time. I don't know. We'll try this. We'll see what happens. The Rhino is kind of blow, too. Like, maybe the interactive spells are better than Rhinos. It's just, like, a hundred niv -mizzets. Where were you the other matches? Where were you? <sighs> Keratin might just be so good that we can't ignore it. Is this hand, like, good enough that we just, like, have to keep it? I don't think so. It's already a mulligan. With all these nivs. This hand's probably good enough that I can't mulligan it. I don't even want this cut. Keep. It says, like, no targets. Goodbye. And, like, now our mana just, like, pans out great. Dece. We got a cantrip for turn two. Help us find our stuff. All right, Gorilla Mask. Let's go. How many... What are you mulliganing to? You're on five right now? Guess. All right, Temple. Temple's a nice one when you hold the five. Land's actually a good draw. Let's see. What is the scariest thing I can do in turn two? Discard me? I'm not scared to discard. That's fine. I can play this game. You want to discard me and not do anything? I will draw Niv Mizzet eventually. Pass. That is gas. I don't want to call it game quite yet, but this game is not looking good for them. We just need to draw a Nibby Poo. Or literally anything with text. I would not be shocked if they concede this game in like a turn or two. That's not a Nibby Poo. Uh, I guess I need some green white action. Go. I have nothing to do. I drew the water grave, right? I think he doesn't know about the water grave. Oh, they don't want to play anymore. That's fair enough. 
All right, what do we do? A little more 3-2 action? Is that what we did? A little more 3-2 action? We probably should have beat that second mono black deck. Not beating that second mono black deck was kind of egregious. So we just played mono black literally three times, played a mirror, and then played against Soul Flare. It's a lot of nonsense, chat. Oh, where did my... Where did my get? Where did I go? There it is. Okay! Opinions! 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 This deck is Timmy as fuck. This deck is really sweet. Getting to nib people is kind of gas. I kind of liked a lot of what was going on here. My guy kept a one lander on the play. I mean, obviously. With, with the scry land, I don't think that's unreasonable. Um, yeah. So, what do we think of this deck? I don't know what the hell this card's on our sideboard for. Exiling giant colorless creatures? I just don't understand. Is, it, is this like the stupid in soul matchup? That matchup's probably just never going to be good. I do like more exile effects. Which is kind of why I want to anger the gods. But it's been brought to my attention that we have like no red sources. Which is true enough. I missed red a lot. We need more red sources in this deck. I have a good amount of green sources, which I was happy about. But like if you're ever missing colors, it's such a disaster. I think we probably need to play another red tri land. Um, and it probably needs to be another green red tri land. I don't know what the other wedge was that played green and red. Was there another one? There's three colors to cycle between between green and red. There's Jund, which is a shard. There's Naya, which is also a shard. And there's the Frontier. So maybe we should play a second Frontier. The 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 old bivouac was pretty good. Maybe yeah, okay. Alright. Instead of the stupid scattered groves, let's play another let's play another bivouac. Card land was good. The, the tri lands kind of overperformed. I was a big fan. Having your mana was really important. Um, What else mattered? Well, yeah, we also ended up with way more white sources than we needed for our one verdict. So I think that's fine. Um, How about mana confluence? Jesus Christ. Ugh. That sucks. But it might not suck. Maybe, maybe one mana confluence is fine. Just playing like one mana confluence. I don't know. I'm not a mana base expert. I want... Better color, though. Like, find me another red source or two. We need more red sources. And I want an anger of the gods. Um, our sideboard felt relatively fine. Like, not that much nonsense. Um, this card felt great. I almost want a second one of these, but that's I'm biased because I played a million mono black matchups. So maybe if I played more control, I'd be like, oh, I don't know about this one. Dispute also felt great. I want more disputes. More disputes seems good. Um, Kaya was actually really good. Cabal was fairly mediocre. This card we never brought in, and I don't really even understand where I want to bring it in, so I think I don't want this. And I think I want, like, an Anger and maybe a Seal Away or something. Something that, like, exiles for two mana. Maybe a Dispark. Dispark is a nice one. I bet we could play a Dispark here. So, yeah, like, all right, a Dispark and an Anger of the Gods is probably what I want these to be. Um, I don't know that we need all these cards for control, but I still haven't played the matchup, so I would leave them in until I actually played the matchup. Uh, I kind of want the fourth Niv Mizzet. Just not drawing Niv Mizzet makes our deck so bad. Not sure if that's necessary, but it did feel like the Rhino shit kind of sucked. The Niv Mizzet stuff was really good. And, like, not getting Rhino off Niv Mizzet sucks. I bet these Rhinos could be something else. Like, the Questing Beast is kind of nice for pressuring walkers, and it's, like, a good thing to tutor up, but Rhino just kind of sucks. And probably needs to be something else. What if we play Drawn from Dreams? I mean, I have enough blue sources for that, but, like... A dig through time effect seems kind of gas. I don't really know. That might be nonsense. Painful Drew sounds interesting too. Just like, I don't know. Maybe something we can also just get off of um, off of our Niv Mizzets would be okay. But the Rhinos just like, we're pretty bad. There, there, can, there has to be better four drops. Like maybe more Wraths. I wouldn't mind more Wraths. I wouldn't mind like more things that answer problematic permanence like more exile effects like another utter end wouldn't kill me um yeah stuff like that there's like i just would tailor a lot of the slots like there's a lot of random stuff that felt feels kind of nonsense the unmoored ego felt good the abrupt decays felt medium the deferries felt great the Othakai's felt great the dreadboard was good the nahiri was excellent actually a big fan of that nahiri the toll smear was really good rhino's kind of blue the cuts of ribbons were actually pretty medium overall like they were good and when we could cast them, but they were harder to cast. But I don't mind fixing that. I think that they're probably still a good card for the deck. And, like, maybe we want more Thought Erasures. Like, Thought Erasures is just a pretty good card in this deck. Yeah, I don't know. This deck feels really good. 
Like, I don't know if it's like a top tier player, but it sure is hell a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else. Viral? What's up, Viral? I am the Drake iteration of you. <laughs> Guess. Anyways, um, that will do it for today. I saw Abe playing Chromatic Lantern. That's actually interesting. Maybe your mana can be a little better and you get more like ramp into turn five. That's actually really good. I bet I bet Chromatic Lantern is actually really, really good this deck. What if we maxed out on Niv, maxed out on like this, cut these for like some Chromatic Lanterns and just like tried to power out Niv more often? That might be interesting. That might be interesting. There's a lot of slots to play with, but Niv is like undeniably very, very powerful. So yeah. That about sums it up. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for sticking with me through, uh, through some grueling, grinding leagues. I really appreciate it. Um, if you liked my content and you're still hanging around, please hit that follow button. It's the easiest way to support me on Twitch. It'll let you know when I go live. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. It's the easiest way to support me on YouTube. And we'll let you know when I post more videos. Thank you all very much for your support. And I will see you all next week.